Hey there, and welcome to part two of my problematic porn trilogy. Oh, this is the least sexy beginning. Let's start that over again. Have you ever found yourself craving something even though you don't like the way it makes you feel? You find yourself thinking about it all day, even though you know that once you get it, you are gonna feel like crap. You're gonna beat yourself up and you're going to actually feel worse the desire to get the thing is so strong that you do it anyway, knowing that you're gonna feel like crap later. I know that I'm not alone because many, many, perhaps all human beings have felt this way at one point or another. And in this video, I'm going to give you a test to determine whether or not you have a problem. And the thing that we are talking about, of course, is porn. This test is designed to help you determine if your porn use has become problematic, if you're addicted to porn, or if you're on your way to a porn addiction. This is something that is super hot in a lot of people's minds right now as we enter the thousandth week of quarantine. And I just wanted to give you a really straightforward and simple way so that you'll know whether or not you have a problem or whether or not you're on your way and you might want to do something about it. Keep track of your own answers here. If you answer yes to any of these, it might be an indication that you have a problem. Number one, you crave it even though you do not like it and you find yourself thinking about it even when you don't want to. Number two, you crave more and more of it. It takes more in order for you to feel satisfied. Number three, you find yourself watching porn even when there's other things that you should be doing or at unusual times of the day. Four, you sometimes lose track of time watching porn. You look up and realize that more time has passed than you thought. Number five, you feel shamed about your use and you try to hide it from loved ones. Number six, your cravings are so intense that you find yourself thinking about it when even something kind of related pops up, like you think about your laptop or you find yourself distracted by cravings. You might be talking to someone, but really you're thinking about using porn. Number seven, you've lost interest in sex. If you're single, the idea of going out and getting laid doesn't really appeal to you anymore. Or if you're partnered or married, you find yourself less desirous of having sex with your partner. Number eight, your sexual tastes have changed and they're actually putting distance between you and your partner. Number nine, you acquired new novel sexual tastes that you actually didn't have before. Number 10, you find yourself in pain, physical pain, wrist pain, neck pain from spending a lot of time watching porn and masturbating. Number 11, you found yourself losing money. You're spending money, perhaps even money that you do not have to keep up your porn habit. And number 12, you are irritable without it. Even the thought of being away from your phone or from your laptop for an extended period of time makes you upset. And if you're forced to go without porn, you find yourself down, angry, irritable, and generally in a bad mood if you can't get access to porn. All right, if you answered yes to any of those questions, you might have a problematic relationship with porn. Now, if you watched my first video in this series, I talked a little bit about how porn is addictive, but how it's not your fault. Now I want to talk to you a little bit more about how this process actually gets galvanized, gets like set in stone in your brain and causes this to become a hardwired habit. You see, dopamine, the chemical of addiction, rushes when we think about the thing that we want. It actually exists to help our brain and our body to actually go get it. Dopamine is also released when we have sex and therefore the combination of the desire to watch internet porn, all the triggers around us, like the laptop and the phone always being around, in combination with the dopamine hit that we get from having sex, makes porn pretty darn irresistible to our brains. Now the interesting thing about this is the damage that this can do over time. You see, the more dopamine that your brain constantly has access to, the more tolerance your brain actually builds up to dopamine. In combination with the fact that your neurons that fire together, wire together, your brain figures out a really quick direct route to get a blast of dopamine and it continues to take that route. It becomes a habit. Eventually this dopamine system becomes damaged and so we need to take in more and more or more unique and novel things in order to get the same rush. Which is why if you find yourself seeking more and more intense versions of porn, maybe more hardcore porn, more aggressive porn, or more taboo porn like the incest porn or the stepmom, stepdad porn that's very popular today, it actually may be an indication of a damaged dopamine pathway in your brain. There's also a theory that 
that once the brain is sort of worn out on the dopamine that is released with a uh, sexual release, that the brain starts to turn towards the other dopamine release that is very common in porn, which is the dopamine around aggression. So if you find yourself watching more extreme versions of porn or more aggressive versions of porn and that wasn't what you used to be into, that's another good indication that porn has gotten in your brain and it's actually started to rewire your brain. One of the most interesting things about porn is that it's actually proven to us anecdotally and scientifically, like evidence-based proof, that porn has the ability to re wire the circuitry of our brain. It can change what we find sexually attractive. It can change what we find ourselves being desirous of, and it can change the way that our body actually relates to sexual stimulus. So again, this is something that is really part and parcel of why porn is so addictive is because it actually changes your brain. And in the next video, I am going to give you a step-by-step -step plan for getting away from porn, breaking your addiction, and developing a healthy relationship to porn. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe because you're not going to want to miss the third video in this series of Problematic Porn Trilogy. I'm Caitlin B. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you here next week.